Well, that is a light at the end of the tunnel and poverty eradication in the Karamoja sub-region. Now, a three-day modern batik art workshop hosted at the Gofi Zentrum Kampala uh, Ger German Cultural Society has climaxed. It attracted uh, seven deaf participants whose life is certain to change for the better henceforth. Take a look at this report. DefLink Uganda in partnership with Gothe Zentrum Kampala German Culture Society has completed a three-day modern batik art workshop. The workshop was tutored by world renowned Uganda fine artist David Kibuka, who believes that this is one of a kind that will benefit the country. When you see the work they've done in the three days, it's pretty impressive. And this is just the beginner's class. We're going to do a beginner's class, which we've done. It's under their belt. Um, we're going to do intermediate, advanced, and masters. The whole thing in the end is to have these children uh, as trainers. So I'm training them in train the trainers so that they can train other uh, deaf youth anywhere in Africa. Kibuka is certain that with all steps of mastering modern batik art complete by these deaf fine artists, even the sky will not be the limit. The arts is really big in industry. They could be fashion designers, they can be artists, they can be carpenters, they can be because they are visual, they know what they could do. But the good thing with art, it's such a wide spectrum that it, it turns them into thinking people. They are creative. Innovation, innovation, innovation is the rule of the thumb. In the 21st century, if you're not innovative, we become obsolete because uh, eventually the artificial intelligence, which is the computer, is going to replace people who are not innovative. It was attended by seven deaf fine artists who appreciate being chosen to be a part of something. They expect to improve them. I thought at first that it was the same as what we had studied at school, but I saw that this had a different technique. It has given me a new, a new skill that I didn't receive from school before. I have learned a new technique. For example, using different colors and how to, to work on cloth and how to use wax on fabric and how to use, for the first time, I'm using ink on fabric. This latest modern batik art workshop is one of many initiatives by DefLink Uganda that aims at enabling a better society. In eastern Uganda, we've worked with rural um, deaf people in rural areas. A lot of um, children who are deaf are discriminated against and they don't have access to education. So DefLink Uganda has given them sponsorship to attend schools. The seven that took part in this workshop, including Yoisel Monika, Grace Mutabazi, Deus Barugahare, and Pathia Stashoba, are already established fine artists that gained more from this. John Burns, Sentamu, reporting.